Hi everyone, it's May Brock from Trader. Thank you for joining my live trading session where you'll be able to watch my live charts and my live PL. And I believe that's probably the best way to learn trading. The market is just about to start. We're going to start relatively flat. Today is the 30th of August. The market has been trending higher recently. Therefore, I do expect some upside momentum i'll be looking for more longs than shorts but again follow the market if the market is going to decide to move lower we'll follow it the way it chooses to go there's plenty of links below this video if you want to trade the same platform i do which is the colmex pro platform or you want to join me in my live trading room each and every day for a free 14 day trial because i do call all my picks live each and every day again plenty of links below let me welcome my trading room members and start the trading session right now hi yogi hi traders good to see you all here welcome our trading room members and of course those of you who are joining us in youtube Good to see you. Market is opened and we're opening relatively flat. I mean, just a little bit up. S&P is up 0.1%. Uh, Very small gap up. NASDAQ, a little bit less than that, but we did have a very strong move, upside move yesterday. Now, if you watch the last few days, you can see that uh, we're definitely trending higher which means we should be looking for longs more than shorts however if there are some stocks which are coming down strong like HPQ which is down 8% we should definitely consider taking a short because HPQ could be a gap and go but doesn't really give me a chance to move in because there's no pullback so far. Again, watching the S&P 500 and the Nasdaq, if you watch the Nasdaq, you can see that we returned. We just returned to the initial entry point and we could be moving down from here because we're leaving a topping tail. In the S&P, it's not that clear. We're actually still holding in green. At this point, the S&P is up 0.2%. I'm still holding MU. Uh, moved under 67. I'll wait a few seconds before I close it. PDD. Wow. Moved all the way back to the highs. Tesla is also moving back to the highs. Volatile okay. opening so far in the indices, which are long tail to the upside. Guys, I just posted uh, Nvidia for a long over 494. If it's going to trigger, then it's likely to be a three point stop loss somewhere around 491 should be my stop loss, risking approximately three points. Therefore, mind your quantity. Nasdaq just uh, returned to the highs, and the SP is still holding to the highs. We're definitely uptrending, but Ooh, it's just the first five minutes or so. So a little bit early to determine which way the market will go. What just happened to NVIDIA? Did it move up? Okay, the Q's just returned under the lows. The S&P 2, we just moved under the lows. The second five minute candle is taking us down. Could short HPQ under 28.20. Posted. If it's going to trigger, stop loss is going to be 30 cents. Just over 28.50. Therefore, target should be at least 30 cents, meaning somewhere under okay oops i just made a mistake i'm short now i'm short hpq about to short goog 
I would rather believe that the market would move higher because that's the overall trend. That's why I'm posting Nvidia now for a long over 491. Well, I think opposite. I think uh, the market will move down today. Well, if it does, fine. I'll be there. But um, S&P just returned to the middle of the range. And we'll see what's coming next. Uh, sorry, HPQ. HPQ, good. Under the 28 mark. Now, let's see. It's moving under 28.90. Because that should be my target, right there on the 2890. I may have to go through a pullback till then. Hope not. I am getting ready for a partial. The new low is 2791. I want to see it under 2790 for a partial. S&P is returning to the lows again. I love the daily of Google for a long... And I'm looking for an opportunity to move in. Yeah, I, I want to go long over 130... 135... Posted about to go along Google over 135. It's getting there. Touched it now. It's a whole number. Could expect to have some sellers. There are some sellers there. And whenever it touches it, it bounces back down. That's why when you want to go long and your entry point is very close to a whole number, like the technical entry point of Google was actually 134.90. But I preferred to wait until it moves over 135 because I expected it to have some kind of a resistance at the whole number. Now, if it's going to go over 135 and again watch the sellers there's like 100 600 900 sellers but when it touches the 135 you will notice there's a few thousands of shares to be sold at 135 which is quite common at whole numbers now it's about to touch it again there we go 4000 shares now it's over just touched over and i'm long <laughs> Not that it helped much, it bounced again, but it did go over. So I'm looking for a failure in NVIDIA. And maybe I'll go long, because the S&P just proved to me it wants to move higher. Oh, come on, Google, don't take me out. I'm about to move out under 36, under 134.36. The market is moving up, we just touched a new high. Google is not supposed to take me out, it's supposed to get back up with the S&P 500. And I'm thinking about going long Nvidia. I will go long Nvidia, I'm going long now, over 4.18.9, I believe I posted it earlier. No, I posted it over 4.91, sorry. I'm gonna post it now, just for the records. Small size and I'm long. And I'm gonna go long over 135 Amazon. It's touching it now. I'm long Amazon. The SP at this point is up 0 0.4, almost 0.4 percent. Nasdaq is a bit lagging, just 0 0.2, but the Nasdaq just now moved over the market over the highs too. So Nasdaq is over the mark, over the highs. Uh, the S and P is over the highs. Amazon is uh, touching the highs right now and likely to continue. Google is doing well. Closing. Look at them. Look at them go. 
Only one giving me some trouble, of course, is HPQ because it also responds to the market. Amazon's doing real good. New high. I was risking 50 cents. I've got 60 now. I'm getting ready for a partial. Google is doing good. Did not reach the 50 cent mark. Nvidia is okay. It's uptrending. S&P moving to a new high. I'm definitely with the trend. Nasdaq moved over the highs and continues. S&P is holding. After moving to a new high, could have. I may need to go through some kind of a pullback here before it reaches my target. We're at the 30 minute mark. I will move to five minute candles. Right now, moving to five minute candles. HPQ over 28.50 will be stopped. I shouldn't be disappointed from HPQ. I should be disappointed from the fact that I did not take a partial because it worked out fine. There was nothing wrong about it. Nvidia keeps moving more than two points out of HPQ. I'm getting ready to take a partial in NVIDIA. S&P is holding to the highs. Nasdaq is holding to the highs. Market is a bit extended to the upside. I'm a little bit concerned of a pullback. My target in NVIDIA was uh, 492 and I'm like 30, 40, 50 cents away from that. Amazon just reached my target over 50. Good. I'm getting ready for a partial. I think I can let it move over the highs, which is 61. Good job, Nvidia. Come on, Amazon over the highs. Getting ready for a partial in Amazon. Getting ready for a partial in Nvidia. Come on, Nvidia. I'm just asking for another 50 cents. It couldn't be that hard for you, right? Retest in PDD. Come a new high, Amazon. Oh, <laughs> come on. I don't want to repeat the same mistake I made earlier by not taking a partial in HPQ. Now I'm starting to see a small red candle in the, in the S&P. It's not a good timing for me because I was just touching my targets. Nvidia could hit my target soon. It is actually there right now. Come on, spike over the whole number. Over 492, please. It's touching it. It's very close. Yes. Yes. Good job. Oh, yes. Good job, Nvidia. Getting ready for a partial now. Took my partial. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, Google. Nice. Now reach my target. I'm getting 10 cents more. Let's see if I can get a little bit more than that. Yes, I do. Under 55, I'll take a partial. Under 135.55, I will not make this mistake again. Watching the buyers in Google, you don't want to see them coming down under 65. 
sellers now at 74, 75, buyers at 73. Don't watch the chart. If you're watching a stock when you're planning a target uh, or a stop loss or a whatever, always watch the level two. Never watch the chart. What counts is where the buyers are. And now they're at 60. Now they just moved. The buyers just moved under 65, 64, 63 or so. That was my partial. Only one left in the game is Amazon. Again, I want to see the buyers moving over 50. Right now they are at 135.41. Recent high was 61, and here they go again over 50. Cool, I will not let it go this time. If it tries to move under 50, I'll take a partial. And the market is holding near the highs, so no pullback in the SP 500. Therefore, I think it's likely to move higher, but I, want, I don't want to take the risk. If it comes down under 50, I'll take a partial. Come on, the highs is 61. There we go. Touching the highs now, 60, just touch 60, buyers moved up to 450 something, okay, come on, no pullback, no pullback. All I need is a small push in the S&P, which is not pushing anywhere, it's holding near the highs, which is good, it is good, good, now Amazon moved over the highs, good, buyers at 61. Now there should be some kind of a breakout because it's a nice bull flag formation. I don't expect much. Another 10 cents or so. There we go. Buyers at 65. Now let's move over 70. If it moves down under 58, I'll take a partial. Because I don't want to let it... I don't want to take a risk there anymore. I did take a risk earlier. I don't want to take any more. Come on, Amazon. I was expecting a 10 cent breakout. I got 7 cents. Not enough. Should be more. If it moves down under 58, I'll have a partial. Buyers now at 59, 57. Got my partial. A cool day for me. Traders, uh, 43 minutes into the trading session and I'm done trading today. I've got three winners in Amazon, NVIDIA and in Google, one loser in HPQ. I did not trade much size really and um, wasn't taking a lot of risk today. And I'm really proud at what I did today because I did follow the trend. I did follow the trend of the S&P which is definitely up in the last few days and currently as you can see we made a decision at the fourth green at the fourth candle to move higher and we're still holding and right now as you can see we're touching the highs again and we're likely to continue so I've got um, three great trades a mistake I made in HPQ because it did reach my target and a little bit more than that once it came down, but I did not take my partial. I was a little bit greedy and at that point, you know, the market was not, did not seem like it's, it's about to move higher. So I thought that it could be that the market will move lower and HPQ was, HPQ was likely to continue down. So I thought maybe I'll get a bigger winner there. But anyway, I did not. So HPQ changed directions. I used my stop loss, my planned stop loss at around 30 something cents. I moved out. Nvidia looked great on the daily. I was looking for a reversal. I did get it and I went long over 489. And I'm still in, I'm still open with just 100 shares and over $400. And uh, same with Google, I'm still open with Google 400 shares with $300. I took a little bit more size because Nvidia target was three points. Google was 50 cents. So size wise, I was four times as much in size in Google. And uh, Amazon worked well too. And I'm still following it with just 100 shares. And uh, altogether, 
I believe that I'm just over five grand. So that's a good day for me with three winners, one loser. I really enjoyed my day and I hope you guys did well too. If you are in YouTube, please hit that like button. Don't forget there's plenty of links below this video if you're watching this video later. And uh, if you want to trade the same platform I do, it is the Colmex Pro platform. And you're very welcome to join. Again, plenty of links below. And uh, thank you again for joining in. I'll see you in my next video in my next live trading session. Bye, everyone.